after school Satan Club in Lebanon will meet for the very first time tomorrow. It's set to be held at Donovan Elementary School. WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur shows us the district's plans to keep students and staff safe. It's called an emergency operation plan with added security and restrictions of who's allowed on school grounds. It's clear how many people feel about this meeting. I think the Satan people are just trying to stir up trouble and get publicity. It's sparking controversy and concerns from parents, grandparents, and religious leaders. To me, that's um, a great form of evil. Pastor Doug Sibsey with G3 Community Church says it's happening on the same grounds where his church was founded. According to the Satanic Temple's website, the club is not religious. We are considered non-theistic Satanists, which means we don't believe in an actual literal Satan. We believe in Satan as the symbolism um, to standing up for tyrannical authority and kind of questioning you know, everyday, everyday norms that society has placed on us. I wanted to make it clear that we, you know, do not try to indoctrinate children by any means. It's very mythical to them, but it's very, very real to us. Sibzi understands legally the school has to rent out the facility and can't discriminate against any organization, but he believes there should be a change in the rules. I don't think the school should have anything to do with it either, even if it comes at a cost of not renting the facilities to anybody. I think it, it brings credibility to the table when someone who utilizes the rental of the facility says, I think we ought to cut it off to everybody because I, this, this has gone too far. The district is asking the public not to protest on school grounds and be mindful of the age group of the students. These children aren't going to understand this. Other school activities will take place at the same time, but the doors are going to be locked until the end of the meeting. Only approved staff members, sponsor of the club, or students attending the club can get inside. In a letter, Superintendent Isaac Sievers says he wants students and faculty to leave school peacefully and safely. Some say they believe the group is seeking attention and won't pay them any mind. We will ignore it. Kendria LaFleur, WCPO 9 News. People in a York County community are expressing concerns over an after-school Satan Club, a program offered by the Satanic Temple that could find its way to a local elementary school. Fox 43's Chelsea Johnson explains how parents of the students are feeling. They already took you know, God out of schools, but now they're going to allow Satan in. It's just crazy. Parents expressing their outrage over the after school Satan Club. This uh, is very concerning to me. Um, anything that has to deal with uh, worshiping Satan is uh, bad news. The after school Satan Club is a program offered by the Satanic Temple. There are currently four of these programs operating in the country, including in Ohio and Indiana. Pennsylvania could be their next landing spot at Northern Elementary School. We believe that Satan is a great metaphor for uh, rebellion against tyranny and is the embodiment of a lot of the values that we espouse. According to Satanic Temple co-founder Lucian Greaves, a couple of parents in the Northern York School District asked him to start the program. He says it is designed for kids aged 5 to 14 with the mission, quote, to promote self-directed education by supporting the intellectual and creative interests of students. Well, the curriculum focuses on the scientific way of thinking to reach solutions. Uh, like I said, as a non-theistic religion, we don't advocate for any supernatural points of view. While Reeves says this isn't an organization that worships Satan or promotes any sort of religion, one mother says that is not an excuse for a program like this. Once they open the doors, if it gets approved, even though it's not my school district, now you're opening the doors for all school districts to allow this. On Tuesday, the Northern York County School District Board will vote on the approval of this program. An agenda item, Grieve says the board does not have control of. If they deny us the use of the public facilities, which they have no right to do, it'll have to move into litigation, costly litigation, that the community is going to have to pay for. Greaves believes the board's vote on this matter is unconstitutional, citing a 2001 Supreme Court ruling that allowed religious groups to meet at public schools. Either way, there are plenty of people not on board. It puts a bad taste in your mouth from the get-go just from the name. Chelsea Johnson, Fox 43 News.